Before we hop into this video, I, please don't give me advice in the comments. I don't want advice. I'm just venting. So y'all can pop a chalky milk and listen to me for five minutes. If you want. If you don't want, you can just click off the video. Well, on. It's your boy Chief Matt. Um, so I started out today posting on IG that I wasn't going to drop a video today because I went to sleep at like five my fault i tried to edit my ice bath q a and it just really wasn't the vibe i was just feeling burnt out on top of that the content that i shot with abo dope ass content high quality content is not playing properly in the editor so i might have lost those two files i do think i'm gonna get them back but just in case i don't which is a possibility and then i see on ig that one of my exes, we still follow each other. She posted a photo with her new man. So I, not new man, we haven't been in contact for years. Or like regular contact. But I'm just doing my feels. <laughs> and um, since I'm not putting out a proper video today, I might as well just put out something. Use my own YouTube channel as my therapist. So Matt, what are your thoughts about this situation? Well, Matt. <sighs> I, it's just... Doesn't it blow your mind how there was a time in your life where a certain person was your everything and now y'all don't even talk anymore? Like the way human beings lose feelings for each other. Like I'm not saying I'm particularly hung up on her like every day, but there are times like today where it's like I see her and damn bro, the way we used to look at each other, the way we used to talk to each other, about each other. And then you think about all the time that was spent with that person. Now, this particular person, I feel like my time was very well spent. And I'm happy for the memories I have with her. But it's just so sad because it's like, at one point, this girl was obsessed with me, you know, and I was obsessed with her. And now she's obsessed with someone else. Maybe it's my personality mix that just has me hung up on situations that don't end with closure. <sighs> or that they end because of circumstances out of my control. Life happens sometimes. But yeah, love is such a strange thing because every time this happens, your my confidence depletes for the next person. And everyone's major comment is, you just gotta keep trying, you just gotta keep going. But if I try and open a door and it's locked, right? And then I try again, it's locked. Or I try another door and it's locked again. If I see a third door, the more doors I try that are locked, the lower my confidence is to open another door, you know? Not this past relationship that I'm talking about, but another one. I spent so much time, and it seems like it was for nothing. Like, I'm looking back at it now, like, the effect that it's had on my life is just so much. There's so many more negatives than positives. <sighs> I'm just tired, man. What's the whole point of falling in love if it can end one day? Because of how she feels, because of how you feel, because of... A life circumstance because of some event i don't know do i just stay being alone is that the vibe i don't like that vibe but i think i like it more than getting my heart broken um update on the 75 day challenge it's sunday today so i still gotta do my stuff on a sunday but the last six days uh took one cheat day one exercise rest day. So I went to gym five times, dieted five times out of six, read every day, water every day, progress naps every day. Uh, but I might give up. I might give up because I don't really care. The money isn't enough to motivate me. It's okay. I'll just pay it. I think I'm going to still keep doing exercise, but I just feel hungry all the time. Should I post this? I don't think this is a good idea. I'm, I'm going to post it. YOLO.